Hello, hello everyone. Uh, well, I'm here today to uh, make a brief, hopefully brief video um, of how we're gonna edit this image. Well, this is a building that is, uh, not many people notice this building in my neighborhood because it's uh, across the street from the train station. So not many people actually look up, but anyways, this is Broadway and 96th Street in the Upper West Side, Manhattan. Give me one second, I'm gonna drink water. Okay, so um, uh, for those who know my style of photography, I like uh, I like to have dimension in my images. So I like to see this, I like to see all this. It's almost like it's surreal, almost like it's a rendering, but usually they're real buildings. It's real life photography. I also like uh, clouds with dimension. Uh, in this case, the clouds were a little far away and the sun was high up. It was around like two, 2 p.m. or so. So uh, it was the sun was like really intense. So these clouds were like really washed out. There was no much of a shape on them. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create the clouds in post-production. Something I usually don't do, but in this case it's gonna work. So I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna give uh, like uh, an effect of moving clouds actually. So let's start with the basic um, editing of the picture in Lightroom. I'm on Lightroom 5 right now. Okay, I'm gonna press auto and I'm gonna see what it takes me. It's a little too washed out for me. I don't like it too, too washed out. Um, so what I'm gonna do, actually I'm gonna bring the exposure a little bit down and then the, uh, I'm gonna bring contrast. Usually I take it down because I can see more detail from stuff. But in this case, I'm gonna bring it up a lot because I'm gonna bring the shadows a little bit to compensate that. And also I'm gonna bring the clattery a lot. You can see the clattery helps. It gives some nice uh, uh, dimension to this image. And the other thing I'm gonna go now to, uh, I don't gonna do auto, let's see what it takes me out of. It's gonna be really yellow, yep. So I'm gonna do a like daylight, just a little more blue, kind of. A little less. <laughs> and again, as you have heard me in other videos, I don't like to see uh, 5,000 words, 600 or 6,450 words in the temperature, because every shot is different. So anyways, this is what it works in my shot. I'm gonna bring the vibrance a little bit up. Always the blacks in here, a little less. I'm gonna bring down, also gonna go to the tone curve. I'm gonna bring down here from the center a little bit so I can bring the shadows up a little bit more. Then um, I'm gonna go to luminance down here and I'm gonna bring the, the blues a little bit down. And then I don't like the windows because these windows have this uh, special film to avoid the UV filters to get through the window, but in the picture it looks really purple, which I don't like. So I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna go to the purple sound here. Oh, that's luminous actually. I'm gonna leave it up for now. I'm gonna go to saturation and remove that. Also in the magenta, it's gonna change. And then I can see some chromatic aberration here. I don't know if you notice it. That's from the red, and I don't think I have much red stuff that I want to save. So I'm gonna bring that down. Let me see if you can see what I'm seeing here. Saturation. Okay, you can see here the red. Now I'm gonna bring it down. Boom, it disappeared. It's gonna leave slightly a little bit so it doesn't look fake. This uh, this picture is really some noise. What was uh, It was 400 ISO, but uh, this camera is really noisy, the quality of the image, which I don't care. It's more about the composition. Nobody's gonna, there's no inspectors that are gonna come here to see my noise picture, noisy picture, whatever. Stop fighting with me. Okay, then I'm gonna go to enable profile corrections, remove chromatic aberration. Which I could have done first before doing the desaturation of the red, but uh, still I wanted to desaturate it. It's gonna work better. I'm gonna go to out of here and see what it takes me. The horizontal lines, I like it, perfect, that's good. Okay, uh, I could sharpen it here, I'm gonna do it, yeah. Let's see, good. Okay, this is all I'm gonna do on a, um, maybe I can bring the saturation of the blues. Or the luminance a little lower that works and now i'm gonna take this picture to uh, photoshop and you can see what i'm gonna do next so we're transferring this picture to photoshop we're gonna wait for photoshop to open it okay once in photoshop what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select with the w i'm gonna do it differently there we go now we're talking. God damn it.
Okay, this has been uh, pretty decently uh, selected. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna press V to come back to my vector. Oh no, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna go to Refine Edge. I'm gonna go back to W. I'm gonna go back to here, the Quick Selection tool. I'm gonna Refine Edge. You can see it's a little bit without uh, selecting there. I should change that. See. See. I think one effect match the image, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Good. Okay, uh, now what I'm gonna do is select uh, this tool for uh, exposure and I'm gonna bring the exposure down all the way. Bam! Sha bam! I'm gonna press the V to go, to go back to my vector and I'm gonna add a new layer. This layer I'm gonna paint it of blue. You can, I can even uh, choose the blue that I have in this layer here. Let's see. Kind of nice. Let's bring it a little more. Uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it there. And then I'm gonna create another layer. In this layer, I'm gonna, uh, in this layer, I'm gonna create clouds. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna look for a gray, dark gray color like this. And then with the brush tool, I'm just gonna start painting random shapes here. this and I'm gonna paint some some magenta like light magenta color let's so do it down here in the cloud hey come on concha tu madre white there uh, I'm gonna paint a little bit of white in there just because the clouds need some white I like to do the the gray on the bottom because that's gonna give a little far dimension this is something I, I just Talk about it uh, to put the pink. I usually don't put pink. Let's see what comes out. Okay. Once we have this, extend it quite a little bit more. We're gonna go to the um, filters and then we're gonna go to blur and then we're gonna go to motion blur. Once in motion blur, Can play with this. Something that looks realistic, actually. Come on. They're looking pretty real there. What do you think? Oh, you don't think so? Mm hmm. Okay, I think it's fine. I don't want to get crazy about it. Now we're going to go to option, drag this and put it again on top of it. So this is pretty much what it's going to look like. Like the clouds, uh, clouds are uh, moving on that direction, like diagonally getting in the building or behind the building or from behind the building. Okay. From here, there's a lot of things you can do. You can keep it in color or you can make it black and white. Let's see what it does in black and white. Let's see if I bring the starts down a little bit that's more surreal almost but it's still pretty good looking nice. 
affects in the CPU windows. This yellow usually affects more of the features. And I'm targeting too much. The reds barely. Again, the magenta affects the windows. I want this, the, these windows to shine a little bit as well. So as you see, you can choose uh, to keep it in black and white or in color, whatever you like better. This is very, very dramatic. If you leave it like this, it's like really dramatic picture. Color, it looks like a rendering. And uh, I wouldn't say it's because of the clouds or the color of the sky. That's the color that we pick actually from Lightroom. So this is the process so far. Japan. This one looks pretty good actually, but um, I want to keep this one just because I want to uh, show the difference between the sky and the building, the blue and the, and the yellow, the Greeks. This will be a nice dramatic print. However, I'm going to save it like this. And this is going to be the final result for uh, um, this uh, sky changing or sky creating actually. Okay, I hope you're still there. I uh, hope you um, find this video uh, useful. If you do, please uh, thumbs up. If you don't like it, uh, you know what to do. Uh, comments uh, are always appreciated. Questions, uh, suggestions, etc. Always appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.